Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the last day of your data science week and we're going to run a Python script, not in Power BI. We're going to just run a Python script and we're going to create one too. So I'm going to show you uh, the Python script that I created and then you can create your own and I'm looking forward to see your creativity. If you're new to Python, then I have a couple of videos on it. So just down below, go and check them out. It will get you started in no time, okay? So let's get started. So first of all, Windows button, click on that and then CMD. And then it will take you to the command prompt. And then in here, I think we need to go to the basics, basics of how to run this just so, so you can get started. First of all, we are on the folder C users and then Ruth Pozuelo Martinez. That's my name. That's the name of the computer. Uh, so if I want to go to the desktop uh, folder, I will go CD and then desktop. So CD allows you to go up in the folder hierarchy, while CD dot dot allows you to go down in the hierarchy. Let's go back to our desktop. And if you want to list the files that you have there, you'll be like, oh, what was the name of that Python? Mm. You just click dir, uh, right there, and then click enter, and then it will list all the files that you have there. With those three things, you go a long, 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 long way, okay? Uh, before you run anything, make sure Python is working. You write Python, and if this comes up, Thumbs up, you did a good installation, everything is working. So exit Python. And uh, now we're going to run a fun file. To run a file, this file is stored on the desktop. You can see it here. This is fun pi. Pi, do you say pi or p? <laughs> Whatever. So to run this file, you go Python and then fun. That's it. You call the name of the file using Python first. So say open this file with Python basically. And then watch what happens. Be careful. So it says, boss, are you sure the data you gave me is correct? And Dilbert says, I've been giving you incorrect data for years. This is the first time you asked. And then the boss says, what? <laughs> and he says, I said that the data is totally accurate. We just ran our first Python joke. How funny is it? I'm looking forward to see your Python jokes, by the way. So how was this created? This is super useful and you create your own jokes in no time. Let's go and do it. If we go to the desktop, this is the place where I have the Python uh, script. You will see it here, find pi or p. Let me know how you pronounce that. You, I right click and then I edit it in Notepad. You can use it in Visual Studio. You can use all kinds of tools to to actually write a Python. I think this is one is actually Notepad. You see how advanced I am on Python. So this is how easy it is. The print function will print something on the screen. And what I did, it, I just added a timer, so n not all the tests gets like printed at once. I just wanted to have, you know, this type like a dialogue feel. So for that, I called a library called time, which you don't have to install. It's already pre-installed. So you write import time, say use the time library, and then you use the time sleep. And then this is how many seconds you want it to wait before the next line comes. So this is four seconds, eight, two, and four. So this is how you create the Python joke. Looking forward to see your Python jokes. So if you create any, just down below links. You can't write links on YouTube. You know, they, they will get blocked. I will have to unblock them manually. YouTube just has that by default. So just I don't know, share the code with us in the comment box and we will run it in our own environments. That's probably even better. So I hope this was fun. I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll see you again on Friday with DAX Fridays. I don't know how to relate DAX Fridays with Python or R, so I guess it would be a normal DAX Fridays instead. So I'll see you on Friday. Take care. Bye.
So hello there, do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.